Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Freddy Fish and the Case of the Missing Kelp Seeds. We last left off, we are, you know, we're, we've assumed the role of Freddy Fish and her little pa pal Luther, who is trying to basically save her entire community or village or country or however, you know, this undersea life is, you know, whatever the hierarchy is. Because somebody's stolen all the kelp seeds, and so we can't, you know, without any kelp, the fish don't have anything to eat, and we're all gonna die. Though we have seen that apparently the people that stole the kelp seeds are a bunch of sharks, so, but well, I guess like they don't eat kelp, so they can just eat people, fish, people, and whatnot. So, let's keep exploring. But we do have quite a few items that we can... Ooh, hello, buddy. Ooh, a key. Okay, then. Like, I don't think, um... Like, like especially like in things like... Spy Fox and stuff like that, I don't think there's anything... Like, this... I feel like in later humongous entertainment games, like... Something that's just, like, right out in the middle like this w wouldn't would actually be a character, not just like a weird thing that's just like <laughs> hanging out. No offense to the fellow. Good eye. So we have... Heck. That's pretty cool. Some sort of raceway. Oh man, that's just... It's in a bunch of them. Bones. While those bones, while those bones are fighting an epic battle, we have a bone here for this. Is the, this would be for the dogfish that we had spotted that was like going crazy trying to eat us. It's a very light anchor. This seems nothing down that way but this is actually when you think of like you know that's actually pretty creepy when you consider that you know a whale I suppose like a whale isn't actually a fish but you know it's in the same sort of category of just you know being an underwater being that you know would have coexisted you know there's ch chances are that you know Freddy and Luther might be friends with a whale or something and they're just hanging out in a whale skeleton Something. Oh, okay. So we, we can indeed talk to him. You can't get through the shrimp net unless you got the super duper duper booga papa gizmo. But you can't get the super duper duper booga papa gizmo unless you give me a clock. Where are we gonna get a clock? Yeah. Look in the junk. Underwater. Tell him time. I'm not sure. I wonder what. <laughs> He wants a clock for it. He just sells it. He just collects clocks. Some super duper book of polygizmo or whatever it was. It's a bone. This key should get you out of the cage, Fiddler Crab. I love these games. like they just feel like a, a jigsaw puzzle. Or like, especially like. When you get to a point, that point in a jigsaw puzzle where you're, there's no real, where everything just kind of fall, falling together, where just piece after piece goes it goes in. Here, you can have my fishing pole. Thank you very much, Fiddler Crab. I wonder what this can be used for. Like obviously fishing, but. Something smells fishy, if I might, if I might say. Do you want to go to the junkyard? I can't remember. <laughs> we, we see that. I can't remember which area exactly was the junkyard. Ooh. Nice. 
nice. Not, not like his fin doesn't really seem to be injured at all. Mommy! Gabby! My Gabby! Thank you both! That's a be welcome, beautiful Alice. reunion. Please take this purple sea urchin for saving my Gabby. Nice. Thanks, Mrs. Halibut. Now we have three. That's. Luther, we still need to find Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. More than enough that we need. Let's just quickly go back in here just to make sure. You know, I don't think they would really do anything like once you kind of cleared it out in the area. I think it's probably fine. So up there, so let's head head on back. Now we're looking for a clock. Is like our main. Okay, so and we head this way to the crown. Ooh. I wish I could get some sleep, Freddy. But this shell, it glows all day. It glows all night. I wish I could trade it for a shell that doesn't glow. Ooh. Well, if we have the shell, f uh, uh, hello. if we have the shell for you. Herman, I brought you a new shell that doesn't glow. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Plus, it's a it's nice, wonderful. beautiful shade of purple. Just a second. Yeah, just a, yeah, a moving house. Maybe you can use this glowing shell. Thank you, Herman. Can I ever? Good night. Luther, we should hurry up and find the we're, we're, I'm, I'm going, Freddy. I'm going. Don't rush me, man. Some sort of temple, Enter as you please. kingdom, or whatever. Found another purple sea urchin. Let me just quickly uh, say, okay, there's no. I remember how um, Scum VM handles the actual saving. I would like to actually maybe save the game. I can't remember if this game actually has a fail state in its released version, like, um... There is, I know, a way... Uh, I believe it's been taken out of the game, but, um... Originally, there was a very... There was a very interesting fail state that, um, I'll talk about later on. Interesting. Wait. Oh, it's the king. Hi, king. King Crab. Crab. Greetings, Freddy and Luther. We're all friends in this area, in, the, in this, in this kingdom. What do you think of this crisis, King Crab? Uh, how do you plan? You know, don't you think it's a bit? Not a, not the best of ideas for all the, the 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 food rations of the entire population to be, you know, made by just one old farmer lady. Welcome to my kingdom, with all my shells and pearls. But what really makes it very grand are all the boys and girls. Well, they ain't that sweet. Where do we come from? I don't really think there is much beauty in my kingdom, but the most beauty comes from my beautiful pearls. Okay, let's um let's head back now because I'm not really sure if we really have anything to do with this guy right now. But it's good to know that he he loves pearls and shells and whatnot. And if you remember that Ray fella who wanted the clock, he also had like oh look at him. I can't remember his name, but he's sleeping so soundly. Herman. Yeah, Herman. Glad we could help you, Herman. 
Yeah, that ray. There was in the in the in the net. There was like a. Or like in in the area where where that ray fellow was, there was like a very glowy pearl that we couldn't interact with. So I'm wondering if uh, that'll come in handy. Man, how big this freaking world is! This is. Look, another bottle. This is the ocean, after all. You wait here while I go get the bottle, Luther. <laughs> He's like, well, right, right. just wait ready. five feet over. Oh. The bottle. Oh, gravity. Strong glass. I do have had I've had like a um... Sorry, Freddy. That's okay, Luther. It sure is scary down there. I had like I had like an instance where um, I was like washing a glass of water out or something in the sink and I accidentally like like just like dropped the glass, but I like I dropped it at such a time where I I, I, I you could basically say that I was th I threw it cuz I was like I dropped it when my hand had like down downward force and it like just like hit the sink but it managed to stay intact so sometimes glass is stronger than you expect remember that kids so we need to I think we have something to help us get this bottle fish it But he's quite the man. He's quite the caster. Pull it up! Pull it up! You got the bottle, Freddy! Don't go playing near the hooks, kids. I was I was expecting Freddy to just be like terrified of fishing poles. The one on the left. The one on the left. I think we should still at least um head Not the in in the oh, other ones as well. Because they might be hiding something. You lost the treasure, so now you got to see the squid father. Oh please, boss! Not the squid father. The squid father. These fellas are quite hopeless. The volcano is this way. To put in the bucket. All right. now the gate's open. Luther probably could have like squeezed through, but there were only like like two uh, purple seriations ago. Pretty great animation. Especially like the fact that like they can cut, they can all go on at the same time, and you, when you consider that the game came out in like 1994, very 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 good stuff. The is over here. Then again, like you know stuff like you know Sierra and, Sierra and Lucas Arts adventure games, you know, had been pretty, you know, high quality, you know, since like the late 80s. So, hello. Some sort of a live show. Step right up. Live show today. There's a show going on. What type right of now. type of show is it? Haji's magnificent magnificent show. Is that a bit more Welcome descriptive? Boys and fish of all ages to the greatest show under the sea. We've got some great acts here today, sure to make your gills quiver with delight. 
So put your fins together for our first fantastic performance. Prank the fabulous frog. Come on, Frank. Let's hear it for Frank. Frank, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. The next bottle is at the three K. <laughs> Freddy just can't. <laughs> yep. It was what we got next. Oh. Oh. Frank, you okay? Oh, hopefully that was part of the act. Helga the Singing Mermaid. I thought what an angel's voice. The amazing Aji Luke Fisk von Bastoven. Oh my. <laughs> okay then. I almost wonder... I, th I think that's, that's, pro that's probably how it sounded originally, like... I was wondering kind of if, uh... So I'm playing this on an emulator. I'm wondering if, like, originally that would have, like, sounded more like actual music. Like, I wonder, like, if you like, slow that down or something, I wonder if it sounds like anything. But very, very nice, Masthoven. Coppin and Marina. Uh, Carpin and Marina. Very, very nice. Carp and Marina. Okay, the Flying Carp Brothers. Very nice. Clovis P. Tortu. Recital featuring Clovis B. Clovis P. Tortu. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, okay then. <laughs> Gotta come a bit prepared, Clovis. <laughs> I guess this whole thing is that. He's reci reciting for everyone. Heck. Puffo, the amazing expanding fish. With the starfish. What? Huh? <laughs> How amazing. Starfish was a bit was was the bigger star. Bumping gump. Oh, what? Ooh. You knuckleheads. Frank the Fabulous Frog, we already saw him, Helga, Amazing Augie, let's um, this is like the big, this is like the mainstay. Oh nice, a little, little diversion. Is that supposed to be the Amazing Augie right there, like he's supposed to be dressed as him or something? 
But I'm not really sure. Yes, there wasn't really anything necessary in here, so we just kind of. You know, put our hard earned purple sea urchins that, uh, you know, might come in handy later on in there. It happens. So let's head back to So they told us to go into the left hole. Let's head to the right first. Let's just kind of see what we got around here. Ooh. The urchin. My favorite. We found another purple I kind of cut, cut Luther off for, for a second there. I apologize. I want to... I would love to know the story of the shoe. How it got, how it got down here. Stuck down here. Ready fish in the case of the... Sunken shoe. I'm scared, Freddy. I can't see a thing in here. We have something that would help. That's better. There's no reason to be scared now, Luther. I wasn't really scared, Freddy. No hard man, Freddy. Er, uh, Luther. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything hidden here. Let's head back out. Ooh, I see something. I don't know about this place, Freddy. It's a Now we can see. This place isn't so bad with the lights on. It's right, homie. Huh? It says the treasure is hidden in the sunken ship. Let's go get the kelpsies at the old ship. I know just where it is. Oh man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put all my clues in bottles so I could find my way back to the treasure. I thought I put the first bottle at the nexus. Let us in our wreck. But, but, the squid, father. Or was the first bottle at the canyon? Come on, Spongehead. Think! The squid, father, trusted us to hide the stolen kelp treasure for him. <laughs> But, 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 Squid Father. Oh no, he's spewing ink! I dry his children. I remember where the treasure is! Come on, Spongehead. It's Squid Father. It's quite terrifying. Where the heck is. Curious how we got here. That old shipwreck has held so many treasures over so many years. We're looking for Grandma Grouper's treasure. Good luck, mates. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. That old ship sailed through hurricanes, typhoons, thunder, and lightning. But it went down in the great gulf of Ort 7. That's 1907. Is a, what was the, I'm a, Chris, what, what a pick, are, are these the pick fins? Peg fins <laughs> cool. like, what do you want about Luther? I wonder, can we actually... Hey, Freddy. What do you I'm, sure, I'm sure if we can actually go back. Oh 
Oh my. Are you sure? Exploring. My, my voice has gone a little bit weird, so eh, bear with me, folks. Yeah, that's where we came from. Go up, down, up here. Oh, that's that's not where. Okay, that's where we came from. This is, I can see I can see this like as a child I, this probably would have really scared me. It's really, really creepy. I'm Phineas McFinn, the finest sailor on the seven seas. Arg Well Phineas. Arg <laughs> There's just one word that says it all. Arg Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. Arg. Arg, yes, wally. Arg. And a yo-ho-ho, hum-hum, my chum. Arg. What's that you say? Arg. I can't hear ya. Arg. One more time. Arg. Arg. Very good. Excellent. In fact, Arg. <laughs> the handle is broken. Arg. If you could find old Phineas another musical instrument, I would gladly trade you this useless crank handle. Not useless. So we need a musical instrument. That was a nice little song about the beautiful word that is arg. Um. Uh, let's head back down. We should get. I'm going as fast as I can, Freddy. Oh, that's that. That's that's messed up. So, oh, that's real. That's straight up human skeleton. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least they're gonna try to make it all cartoony and whatnot. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like a putt putt. Yeah, I definitely remember this. I remember finding uh, this crutch in this ship. I remember, like, at the time, like, not knowing what a crutch was. <laughs> it's a fatty bear. With another, like, humongous entertainment character. A little shortcut, I guess. Where could we... Who could we... Ooh! This fella's got like a ukulele or... A lute or something. But he's also got... I think he's using it as like a cane or something. Would you like this crutch? Aye! Me old crutch! Thanks, matey! I was gonna say, um... Now I don't need this old mandolin. Would you like it? A mandolin. I was, close, I, was close, I was close when I said loot. I was gonna say, uh, in... In, in that fellow's song, in, in Phineas's song, like, he, he like, sang to, like, you know, he sang, he said, um, you know, from port to starboard, 
and then from stem to stern, which um, people don't know, uh, port and starboard are like the left and right sides of a ship, because if you're on a ship, left and right kind of don't necessarily mean anything, because it kind of all depends on where you're looking, whereas port and starboard are like, you know, objective terms that mean left and right sides of the ship. Now it said stem and stern, which I'd, I'd heard of stern before, which I'm pretty sure is like the back side of the ship, but I never actually heard of stem before, but that's, that's, that's interesting. And I think I might call the video there, folks, and uh, next time we'll continue on on the search for the kelp seeds, which I think might... I can't remember how long the game is, but I, I don't think there's much left. Um, hopefully we get back to like the, the normal game world and we get to like give give our give the dog this bone and whatnot. But uh, till next time, let's let's play, let's play Freddy Fish and the missing kelp seeds. Till next time, liquid out.